My research area is in applications of geometry, uh, in astrophysics, in physics, and biology. So um, geometry refers to shape of objects, but it also refers to what's called the topology of objects, whether they are have holes in them like a donut, or whether they're solid without a holes like a, a ball. Uh, or if you have linear objects like strings, whether they have knots in them or whether several strings are plaited or entangled with each other. So what sort of things can get knotted or entangled? Um, you have the cord for your headphones that plugs into your MP3 player after a few days becomes entangled and knotted. And the same sort of random processes that make that happen make a lot of other things in nature get entangled. Uh, random motions in the atmosphere of the sun entangle the magnetic field lines in the sun, in the atmosphere. And that can lead to solar flares and huge magnetic storms that are the counterpoint of electrical storms on the Earth. Um, DNA molecules can get knotted, and uh, some enzymes are there to make sure they don't get knotted. If you block those enzymes, then they will get knotted, and that can kill the cell, which is a good thing if it's a cancer cell. So um, cancer researchers want to know about how the process of knotting and unknotting DNA molecules uh, in order to control that process and, and, and come up with anti-cancer drugs.